<laughs> oh my god! Hold Dude, on. this is like the biggest bass like we caught, period. Who hangs out with you in the dock? Josh or Darcizzle? Uh, there you go. Today we're going bass fishing and we're at the boat ramp at Lake Ida and I just went, met one of my newest fans. This is Parker. We like his super cool umbrella hat and he's going fishing today too. And we got talking about YouTube and uh, he's my newest fan. He's going to subscribe today. Pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Pleasure to meet you guys. Same to you. Definitely. And uh, we'll hopefully we'll see you around catching right. fish. Yeah. Awesome. crappy but I'm not really sure and I just had my first live bait out of the day I put out a little uh, American Shad and I just came tight on my reel to reel bring in my bait and I just caught this cool looking fish I think it's a crappy I think we're gonna ask our friends right now oh my god huge fish Where's the damn net? Oh, he's gonna jump! Right behind you! Monster! Monster! Oh my god! Oh my god! He inhaled it, we gotta get it. Come over here, come over here. like we've caught period like ever like ever since we've been bass fishing this is a pure giant oh my god caught a crappie which I've never caught before that was pretty cool and the next fish on the boat well actually we caught a half pound bass and the next fish on the boat is this monster holy crap give me the D hooker let's get it out first oh my god Got it? Yeah. This is absolute. Look at this thing. That is a largemouth bass. I've never seen one of those, and look at this mouth. Insane. It's like the size of my head, dude. <laughs> Check him out. He's huge. Really nice fish. I can't believe we just caught this fish in the middle of the day. All right. So we got the hook out of this fish. I took some quick pictures with them real quick because this is like my personal best largemouth bass. I'm pretty confident. But you can just see really quick. Look at his like, his inside of his mouth here. It's just all like um, deformed right here and catching fish. Look at that lip. It's just really cool. He's a really old fish and you can see that he's monstrous. So pretty cool. I'm super stoked to catch more fish and I'm going to release him right now. Swim away strong. He is huge, man. There he goes. Down to the deep. Fighter. And it's a cat. No. No. Do not like catfish. <laughs> I'm going to keep him over the boat and de hook him. I've had a bad experience with catfish in the past. And, um, you know, after that lesson, I basically got stabbed in my upper thigh and got my finger cut open. And to this day, I still have, like, nerve damage. So, I'm just going to make sure I never do that again. And um, I still have the scar right here to prove it. So, catfish, no good. <laughs> I got another crappy. <laughs> I just hook set. And this little fishy which is a crappie, 
which is the second crappie I've caught ever, and I caught both the crappie that I've ever caught today. So they're actually a really good eating fish. Everybody says they're delicious, and um, crappie fishing is a very popular sport. A lot of people are into it, and they'll go fishing for crappie. And I think uh, crappie, or I don't know what you catch them with, but I, I think like live shiners is is actually like not the not the bait you want to use. You got to use like crappy jigs and certain types of lures for them. Um, but I just caught two on live shiners. So pretty cool. This one's a little on the small side, but still a really cool fish. One of these days I'll eat one of these. Um, but I'm not going to eat them from these waters in Lake Ida. I don't know what's in this water. But maybe in the middle of like central Florida where it's gorgeous and there's no humans and you know no pollution and stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to release them and we're going to go to another spot. Not ready. Did you hit me? No. Well, I felt that it hurt. Baby, why can't you get the anchor up and like do this properly and when Stop, don't throw it. Please don't throw it at my arms, please. I did it right there before. Come on. Come on. Stop. Can I like be on my phone in peace like you do? We are at a new spot and I'm gonna rig up my bait right now. But what we're doing is pretty simple. I've got a one aught mustad circle hook. You can see it's a really tiny hook, but it's perfect for these really small baits that we're using today. We have live shiners and I also caught some American shad this morning. So I've got a little tiny bait and my little tiny bait can swim with this little tiny hook on his nose. So you wanna make sure you use hooks that match your bait. So I'm gonna put this on my bait through his nose like that and then I'm just gonna free line the bait and just let him swim around until I get the bite pretty simple and I already caught two crappie which is I think pretty rare to catch crappie on uh, live shiners and I caught my biggest bass ever probably a five pound bass and uh, now we're at my favorite peacock spot so we're gonna try to catch some peacock bass and they fight super hard and um, this morning when I caught my American shad basically I just used my cast net and we looked at the depth finder and we just moved throughout the area to find the bait and once we saw them on the depth finder which is like a big circle of bait you just you just know it's bait because it's a big circle um, and then I throw off the back of the boat because that's where our depth finder is so I'll throw as soon as I see the ball of bait and usually that's how we catch the live bait so uh, I'm gonna start fishing here and hopefully catch a fish How deep does it stay? Five foot. It's pretty hot out. We moved to a different spot. The bridge that I like to catch peacock bass on, I didn't get one bite. And I don't even think the fish are there right now. Um, so we moved to a different area and you can see this cool little area we're in. We've got some coverage from, this, from the sun. Um, but still, it's, I think it's a little too hot out. It's 91 degrees and it really affects the fish, especially they get down deep. They don't like that hot water. Um, and we had those bites first thing in the morning and I think the bite shut down like right after that and we moved to a few different locations. So I think we're gonna try something else real quick and then head home because um, you can't catch fish, you know, when it's too hot like this. The fish ain't biting so, you know, we don't want to waste time. Um, but it's still a gorgeous day and it's not raining and we're having a blast. All right, let's see how Dorsey does backing up a truck. She's getting pretty good. We'll see. Headed home, it's the middle of the afternoon and the fish just stopped biting. So we're gonna go home and do some more work and hopefully you enjoyed this episode. So if you did, hit the like button so that way I know I'm doing my job. And if you have any ideas for me for future videos, comment below and be sure to subscribe. And until next time, follow your dream and keep on catching.